What's the word? What's the word? It's your boy. I'm back. And we here to discuss this Kanye interview with Drink Champs. Yes, sir. So Kanye just dropped this interview with Drink Champs. Been going crazy. Everybody talking about it. I watched it. I was going to do a video about it. I don't usually just do a video about anything, man. It got to be something that be like really catch my attention. But this interview obviously caught a lot of people's attention, and we going to get into it. All right, so the first part of the interview dropped what, a few days ago, been about you know three, four days, whatever. And um, shout out to Nori and the Drink Champs, DJ EFN and all them. Uh, man, the, the, the interview, man, definitely the end, best interview in the last five years, if you ask me, man. It, I mean, he, he, kept, he it, it was entertaining to say the least. But he kicked a lot of real stuff in there, man. He said a lot of stuff, man, that uh, got a lot of people, you know, listening and actually f seemed like for the first time, like starting to like, like listen to Ye, like, oh, okay, hold on. Maybe he's saying something really, you know, all this crazy mess. Every time he say something, he, he talked about that, you know, about them putting the crazy label on him whenever he, you know, really try to speak his opinion or even speak facts or you know try to try to touch or affect the culture in some kind of way in a positive way um you know they come to crazy allegations and everything and man listen to the interview man don't don't not sound crazy listen he don't he don't seem crazy to me you know he just seemed like a guy like i i know my uncle uh rest in peace my uncle manny I want to say he's exactly like Kanye, but he's a guy who is really smart, um, really driven to be successful, was always successful, kind of like in whatever he did. Um, matter of fact, this this portrait you see behind me, that's that's my uncle. I always salute him and represent him. Uh, but my uncle Manny, um, he he was one of them kind of guys. You might. A lot of people sometimes will call him, say he's an asshole, like, bro, he acting like an asshole. You know what I mean? Because he kind of had his own his own opinion, his own way of delivering that opinion, and his own ideas about things. And sometimes he'll be, like, way ahead of his time, and you wouldn't see it. So at the time that he would say things or come up with ideas, we would be like, you know, I'm tripping. But then, you know, when it come to pass, we like, damn. He knew what the fuck he was talking about years ago. You know what I mean? So in that sense, I can understand, you know. And my uncle was the type of guy you couldn't tell him tell him nothing, like borderline arrogance, because you know, he had he could have it his way. He he, he knew how to make money, have money. He, you know, so you really couldn't tell him much, but you know, unless you was real close to him. And um sometime that that, that might have borderlined on people was you know feeling like he was unapproachable or like, man, he an asshole, he a fucking jerk. But at the end of the day, you love him. You know what I'm saying? And he was like right most of the time. You know, I'm just being honest. So anyway, uh, moving forward, man, Kanye snapped. He snapped on this interview, man. He, I really uh, got a chance to like listen to him, man. And uh, I like drink champs because they kind of let you just get off. You know, Nori, you know, throw out a couple of questions or something. And he, you know, people get on Nori a lot for interrupting. You know what I'm saying? He interrupts a lot. But I think that's just part of the niche of the show, man. Because cause Nori funny. He funny as hell, man. You got to have Nori doing what he do. But he, he still kind of, you know, if he see you going, he'll let you go. And Kanye was going, man. And he said a lot. Of, he said a lot, man. He said a lot. First of all, why, why is he... Doing Tali Kwali like that, man. What what Tali Kwali did to that man? I apologize once again to Kwali. I'm sorry I never fucked with your raps. <laughs> <laughs> man, today's price is what what did Joe Fetjo say? Yesterday's price is not today's price, man. Damn. Lord, this nigga stock value, man. But I don't even lie, like, I fuck with Tali Kwali, but I ain't, I, I ain't never bought no Kwali album, man. But, you know, I ain't never turned from it when it was on the radio, you know what I'm saying? Just to get by, that's one of my joints. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, several other that I can name that joined with him and Mary J. Um, I guess them a lot of his most commercial songs, them the ones I know. But like, damn, yay, damn, he got out on all the backpackers, bro. You know what I'm saying? He touched on that. He touched on about how he, uh, you know, he came from the street, but he really wasn't in the street, so you know, he wasn't really like street dude like that, so. When he came in the game, he didn't come in on that lane. He came in under the backpack act. And he's like, shit. He's like, I ain't no more for a backpack. He said, he rock with Yeah, he lives a cash buddy and, you know, and all that kind of shit. So, that's crazy, man. I, I ain't gonna even lie. I'm watching the interview laughing like a mug, man. Yeah, man. He, uh, he definitely never let you down, man. He definitely never gonna let you down, man. Shout out to you. Shout out to Nori. Shout out to EFN on that interview, man. Best interview in the last five years. Best interview in the last five years. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to give him that, man. But, uh, man, they touched on a lot, man. Um, they definitely um, touched on the whole situation, about, uh, you know, the whole Larry Hoover situation. Because, you know, by now, you know that Ye has been on this movement, this old Larry Hoover movement. So they got kind of a little deep into that. And uh, Larry Hoover Jr. came in and uh, he, he, he spoke about the situation. Excuse me, he spoke about the situation. And basically, you know, kind of gave people a little bit of an update of, you know, where they can go and, you know, kind of um, keep up with what's going on with the case and everything. Uh, I know I know a little bit about the case. You know, I'm from Chicago. Uh, I'm close to some dudes. Everybody know about the case. You know what I'm saying? I don't, everybody probably knows somebody who knows somebody from back in the day who's you know rock rock with the guys. So you know, I got a couple of partners who uh, I got I actually got a couple of partners who own that case. You know, who was blessed to come home, man. Salute to them, man. I'm glad they're home, man. And I'm gonna be honest, man. All these dudes is doing positive things, man. I'm gonna be honest, all them dudes on the case that was on the case with Larry Hoover, the dudes that came home off their case, is doing positive things, man. I'm talking about dudes is, 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 is owning businesses. I'm talking about legitimate, you know what I'm saying? Dudes is out here trying to redirect their youth. Dudes is out here trying to, um, you know, uh, provide opportunities, bro. I, I know these dudes. I went through the same thing. Like, I'm gonna be honest, bro. a lot of the dudes, for whatever reason, Dudes who come home from the feds got a di got a, a different kind of mind state. When you come home feds, like I would say 97, 98 percent of the dudes that I know, just me speaking, know that I did time with that did years and years and years with, came home and they, man, started family, man, businesses, own companies, trucking companies, uh, uh, uh. All kinds of stuff, man. Uh, running the job they at now. Buying homes. Man, I'm talking about, man, you know, supporting their family, man. Being a backbone for their families. You know what I'm saying? Stepping up. And I, I don't think it you know, be no different if, if, if Larry Wood was to be free. I think he would want to be with his family and, and try to rebuild his family. You know what I mean? Uh, he got grandchildren and sons and all kinds of stuff out here man he he can't talk to us see at the very least they should be releasing him from the um hell that is fucking colorado uh supermax man fucking uh they under the ground up there um what what the adx up there man like that's that's torture man and they he been in there shit, 20 years or something like that just at that spot you know, previous to that, he did like a 30 ball in the state. You know, so it's like, man, like it's some, like, like Ye said, man, like ain't no redemption for us. Ain't no redemption for, for black. You you can't come back from, from nothing, huh? You know what I'm saying? And, and the previous charge that he was on in the state, you know, he did his time for that. You know what I mean? And, and they convicted him illegally. They, they used illegal means to convict him and basically set him up. So, like, that's a whole nother thing, but the whole thing is, man, like, our people, as a community, man, black people, man, you know, we got to start 
be, be in a community. We're not a community. Everybody's separate. We don't stand for anything or stand behind anything. Anybody can get canceled. How, how, how you going to cancel? Who the fuck canceled the baby? Like, who said he was canceled? Who? Like, I understand they said somebody, but who? How are we allowing? We are the culture. How somebody going to tell us who canceled? How who going to tell us they canceled Dave Chappelle? Or they canceled whoever? Bill Card, Arca, whoever. Like, we do the canceling. And we program have people dissing something new. Well, how can we ever change something mm. if we don't start on a new one? I said, well, Cube, he said, like, man, what's, what's been happening, been working. He'll meet with Trump, and then they'll cancel him. Man, fuck out of here. Mm. Y'all, y'all need to give me the proper... Proper fucking, I want to be hung over a motherfucking doorknob and killed. And y'all say that I fucking went crazy and got doped out. But y'all ain't going to stop fucking with me and stop fucking with Cube and stop fucking with Deja Pell and anybody that's black in a position of power that got an opinion. Y'all yeah. going to stop fucking with us. Come and get me. Mm. My nigga, come and get me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I felt that, man. That, that was heavy, man. You know? I want to know what y'all think, man. Get in the comments, man. Tell me what y'all think about the interview, man. Do y'all think this, like, classic Kanye crazy? Or is this, like, did, did you feel it? Or did, did you open your ears and kind of understand? Could you get with it? You know what I'm saying? Like, like for real. Because I'm rocking with him, man. I ain't going to even lie, man. Chicago rocking with you. You ever come by my way, ain't nobody going to play. We rocking with you, yeah. You feel me? We coming like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he touched on a few things. Uh, obviously, he, he he is holding no bars with anybody that played any kind of games with him. He getting off on him. He's stunned. He, he, he ain't playing. He said he worth nine, nine point something billion dollars. He ain't playing no games no more. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I, I like, I'm going to be honest with you, man. This, this dude, yeah, is really uh. I think he, I think his message got lost under the red hat. I think once again, us as people, what we do, we let the media tell us what we can do, what the light was, this what, and he put that red hat on the black people. Like, oh, Kanye crazy, he's stupid, Kanye crazy. But he right, like I've been telling my homies this. Look, I just was, I just was telling my some partners of mine this. I'm, I'm like, bro. Trump gone and the checks is gone. The repo man is here, bro. Like, the repo man is back in town, bro. All them, all that time y'all talk about, all the shit y'all want, all that time y'all was in, the Trump was in office, it was a lot of money out here in these streets. I seen people with money, I ain't never seen have money. I'm talking about stacks, buying cars, buying, living their best life for like a year or better. What's going on? It's my little whipp whippersnappers that came here. So I'm finna end this video. My son's down here. They ain't finna let me keep vlogging. They wanna play. So look, man. Hit that subscribe button. And let me know what y'all think about that interview, man. It's another epic yay interview. And um, look, salute to, salute to Norian, EFN, Drink Champs, um, Keyhole Vision. We in here. And we're going to keep going, man. Stay tuned, too, man. I got my prison stories coming up. Thank y'all for the, all the support on the prison stories. I'm going to get up out of here, man. Y'all stay chill, man. Peace.